Hey everyone, Riaz here with 3D Crystal and Cockpit 3D. Today we're doing another Cockpit 3D short where we aim to get you tips, tricks, and learnings in four minutes or less. So away we go. Today we've got a 3D 360 logo or model provided by a client and hopefully this is gonna help them out as well as many of you because we haven't done very many tutorials on logos. Now, generally a 3D 180 logo is good enough. It's cost effective, time efficient. Today the objective of this tutorial is to show you the difference. What does a logo look like when you do it as a 3D 180 using projection and portrait or what does it look like when you do it as 360 with x-ray? So we're gonna start with projection. We're gonna come over here. You know our settings are 07. 07 852 over here. Eight. Sorry, let's click on projection. 852, save, okay. Click on go. And if you turn it to the side, you actually see a beautiful 3D effect. This is great for 90% of the time. 90% of the customers are more than happy with this. What I would do with this is you see a disconnect on the head, so we want to click on the texture over here, launch it into Photoshop. Now that disconnect had to do with the fact that the top of the shield was a very dark color. It was this dark blue over here. So we're gonna highlight that blue area. And this you'll notice is also the case with shirts um, where the head looks disconnected when a person is wearing a black shirt. So just go to the shirt and turn it to grayscale. Go to your curves. And I'm gonna go a little crazy here with my brightening because I know it was very dark. Click on OK. You're gonna merge your layers. Click on Control S. Go back to Cockpit 3D. Click on Refresh and click on go and now you can see that it has filled it a little more. I still feel that in fact the entire model is very dark so I'm going to click on the paintbrush again. Notice I'm not going to Photoshop down here. I'm clicking on the brush so it launches a new texture on top of the other one. Okay, That's vital because once you make a change and you refresh in cockpit you need to launch that texture if you want to make another change again. All right, Now I've made it very bright. I'm going to merge my layers. You'll notice that this texture looks a little different. It's called a texture wrap because it is 360 in this case. So it looks a little different, but it's the same principle. We click on go and now look how good it looks. It's beautiful, right? Now you'll see there's a disconnect between the wings and the shield. So that's where portrait comes in. So instead of using projection, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use portrait 0707852, oh, same settings, but watch what happens when I click on go. See, it fills it up over here and over here. So again, this is great. This is what the letters look like. It's good to go. Now, if we want to do 360, and if you've arranged with the artist to model 360, well, in that case, you can come over here. You're going to change it to X-ray. And what we're going to do is we're going to, remember it was 852, right? We're going to decrease our layers to five from eight. We're going to decrease our Z factor from five to two. We're going to click on save and now we're going to come to XY. We're going to make it 08 and Z.11. People ask, Riaz, why are you changing this? Well, just remember 0707 is a very tight point space setting. And when you have projection, points are only being casted from one direction. So it's OK. But right now with 360, there's so many points coming from different areas. We don't want them to melt into each other or crack. So we increase the space. Click on go. And now you have or you should have a 360 model. There you go. See, it's all the way around. You can see it filled all the way around. So again, when is 360, and take a look at the letters by the way, they look quite solid, right? The arrows, everything looks fantastic. So when do you use 360? Well, look, in most cases, again, 3D 180 is good enough. Um, when a customer wants something as a one unit and they want it quick, they're just looking for a cool 3D pop effect. 3D 180. If you have a client that's quite specific about wanting the full model in 360, being able to see it from underneath or from the back, and perhaps uh, having the budget because they know that they're going to order many pieces of the same logo. In that case, send it over to us. We'll make it 360 for you and we will wow your customers. Now, if this was helpful, please do subscribe, like, share, turn those notifications on so you know every time we release a new video or decide to go live. Thank you for watching.